We expected a little bit, but we were surprised again by the magnitude of it. We know that pain is untreated in pediatric patients. It's something that we hear from physicians all the time, that they're just not comfortable prescribing pain medicines to kids. And that's one of the reasons you see so much more use of the, the non-analgesic treatments. But the magnitude, kids who are post-surgical who aren't getting a, any kind of outpatient prescription pain treatment, that was surprising. Uh, there are a couple of things we're going to be doing going forward. We're going to be looking at differences based on the type of uh, physician that's treating the patients to try to see if there's any kind of patterns between specialty care, primary care, so that we can just better understand if maybe there's some educational needs that physicians need more information on pain treatment in pediatrics, and just to better understand what that population looks like. We're also going to be um, doing some uh, statistical modeling based on the underlying severity of the conditions and such to see if something's going on there, and to really separate out acute pain versus chronic pain and see what the differences in treatment are for those populations.